welcome to London. Hi everybody, I'm Nasty Lukin, 2008 Olympic all-around champion. I'm here at the site of the 2012 Olympic Games and this year's World Gymnastics Championships. On my previous trips here, I never had the chance to enjoy this fabulous city. So join me as we take in the sights and sounds of London. We're on the London Eye right now, which is basically like a huge Ferris wheel. And you can see the entire city of London, including Big Ben and Buckingham Palace. I'll be honest with you, being 450 feet in the air was a little scary, but once I got to the top, the 25 mile view was totally worth it. That looks a lot higher from across the river. Does anybody know what time it is? I think Big Ben can tell us. It's not actually the clock tower that's named Big Ben, it's the bell. But why not Big Stewart or Big Bob? Because it's named after Sir Benjamin Hall the man who smoothed the way between the clockmaker and the architect. So thanks to Ben, there is a tower. The Tower of London? It's pretty much ancient history. It's been a palace, a fortress, and a prison. This is still in fact a royal palace, but now no longer used as a royal residence. However, you should never forget that for well over 500 years, all of our kings and queens, they lived inside. It's the site of the most infamous beheadings in British history. It's the home of the crown jewels and the beef eaters. What is a beef eater? That's exactly what I asked. And what I found out is that a beef eater is an honored member of the British military with 22 years of service who guards the tower and acts as a tour guide seven days a week. long day exploring London and I hope you guys had fun. There's still so much more to see so stay tuned at att.net.